Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And Verizon just finished its presentation at CES 2021. And I wanted to give you guys a quick summary. I will leave the link in the description down below if you guys want to watch it. But one thing, once again, that they made very clear is they are going in on millimeter wave across the board. They are going to put millimeter wave potentially everywhere. Now, again, people are asking and questioning how is Verizon going to make this work because this is going to be a massive investment. We're talking the fiber, the nodes, getting right away permits to dig up ground to lay the fiber so all that takes a massive investment and a good amount of time so again verizon you could say is getting is finishing the hard work first and then they move on to incorporating the c-band that they're going to spend massive amounts of money acquiring now how does verizon achieve additional revenue and profits from this if they're going to remain a pure wireless player. What they showcase today at the presentation, they are going to monetize enterprise down to the very, very last penny. So we're talking home internet is going to be one. That's, that's more of a, that's an enterprise slash consumer case. We're talking AR, we're talking concerts. I mean, they're doing, they're going to do it all. They're going to monetize enterprise like they never did before. And they're just scratching the surface. And Hans Vesberg sat the same at the very end. They're just getting started. So again, they have partnerships now with WeWork, Amazon, Walmart, Microsoft. They just announced a new partnership with UPS for drone delivery services and UPS using its 5G network. So the, the possibilities on the enterprise side are really endless. They're, the use cases are changing. The world is going digital. And the internet is going mobile. I think I caught on to that years ago. I, I know John mentioned that a few times when he was CEO of T-Mobile. That's where it's heading. And... Verizon is making a great use case for enterprise as to why they need 5G. And then as time goes on, the enterprise will give Verizon use cases as to why they may need 5G at their locations or near their buildings. So there's the, the, the opportunities, the possibilities are just endless here. Drone delivery at some point is going to be nationwide. Verizon's, that means Verizon's millimeter wave is going to go everywhere. Now, are we going to see millimeter wave in the middle of I-95 or in the middle of, you know, US-93? In some cases, maybe, but on a more rural case where the tower has to cover many, many, many miles of roads just to keep a signal going, likely not. But I think within suburban and urban areas, there are many use cases that could very well justify adding millimeter wave in these certain areas. Times Square is, is a use case not only, not only for enterprise, not only for the speed and the latency, but the amount of users that millimeter wave will be able to hold. I mean, now with the macro and the spectrum that's accessible on the macros, the macros just can't hold that many users. If there's all of a sudden five to 10,000 users in one area, the network is going to, the network is not going to be able to hold up. Speeds are going to drop dramatically. Calls are going to drop. Texts are going to start failing. Stuff's just not going to load. But with millimeter wave in the future, it's going to easily be able to handle 10 to 15,000 consumers. 
all at once, no problems. And as they're as they add more spectrum, as they increase the backhaul potentially in the future, and then of course 6G is going to come eventually. There's going to be even more users that the spectrum can can hold in one in one area. So again, this is just a, a some summary of the event. Hans Vestberg made it very clear they're going all in on millimeter wave. And not to say that's the only play in the playbook right now. Um, it really was before they really pushed the uh, the C-band auction. They've been testing millimeter wave for, for a long time now. It's been in the lab. Now that it's out in the actual real world, they're adjusting, they're optimizing. So that's going to get better. But where they want to take millimeter wave, there is not one other carrier right now that is speaking of millimeter wave in the same way, nor are they testing it or actually deploying it at the same scale. And of course, that's T-Mobile and AT&T. So we will see how this goes, but be expecting millimeter wave nodes, small cells to pop up everywhere in your neighborhood, in your downtown areas, urban urban places where there's a lot of population. Be looking forward to that happening because that's what Verizon is really wanting to do and that's their strategy so let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below look forward to reading all the comments make sure you like share subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you are notified when i do upload content also for more interaction and also the videos of the youtube going up on the twitter for push notifications in case youtube is not pushing them out fast enough make sure to follow the social media platforms for more updates and this is Tyrone with Tech Life. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.